Hi grade ones, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I'm standing in a corner of my living room and I've never showed you this corner before, but it's important today because we're gonna be looking at Roman numerals. And so these are the symbols on my clock. Maybe you have a clock like that at your house too. There's no numbers, did you notice that? Like no number one, two, three, four. These are symbols to represent numbers and they go all the way up to 12 on my clock, right? So. I'm gonna go through the numbers here, and you have a chunk of Roman numerals on your work page you can fill in along with me. So today, I want you to look at the back side of your work page. That'll be page 332, and you have these symbols, and I want you to fill in uh, the numbers on your clock, okay? So you can see here, it's almost two o'clock, because my hour hand is pointing to the two but my big hand, my big minute hand hasn't yet made it back up to the 12. Okay, so where you see the one, it looks like an I, that's where you're gonna write number one today. Okay, and then we have two I's, that's two, right? It looks like a letter I and then two letter I's, that's number two. Three I's is, letter, is number three. And then we have an I and a V, that's four. The V is five. Oh, and it's upside down on my clock, but it would be facing the other way on your page. It would be V and an I, which is six. Okay, the way I remember this is like the I that comes before the V, that's like one less than five. So that's four, five, six. And then we have the V with two I's. So V, I, I, seven. V with three eyes, it's like saying five plus three, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, sorry guys, it's hard to hold. And then we have X take away one. That's X represents 10, so it's 10 take away one is nine. X with the I in front is nine. And then just the X is 10, and that is where we stop today. I'll show you, um, I'll show you here on my work page. And I'll post this answer key on Google Classroom. I want you to do your best to fill in that top part right now. And then after that, you can fill in the bottom part. So number two, filling in the symbols. So for number one, you're gonna write an I. Number two, two I's. Number three, three I's. Okay. And five is that V, right? But four is one less than five. So I, V, V, and then six is V with I. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Um, you can rewatch this and look at my clock again if you need to um, and ask mom and dad for help. Roman numerals is just uh, kind of like a fancy way of writing our numbers. You may have seen this before um, on book titles or movie titles, or if you or your parents watch the Super Bowl, they keep track of um, however many Super Bowls there have been so far. They write it out in Roman numerals. It just looks fancy. It's like a, an ancient way of keeping track of numbers. I'm sure the Romans did use it and that's where it got its name from. But today we just use our regular numbers, right? And we use Roman numerals when we're talking about titles mostly. Okay, but it's good practice. It's good to know uh, how to read these numbers. If you're ever at somebody's house and they have a clock like this, it's a little bit helpful to know those numbers. Okay, stay tuned for instructions for the front side, okay?